What's going on, everybody? Uh, Doug Price here from the Agave Social Club podcast, and this is my one-year anniversary. Uh, we made it. We made it one year, everyone. Uh, so, w- wanted to say thank you to everybody that's been listening to the show for the past year. Uh, if you have not heard all the episodes, want to encourage you to to go back. Uh, I've had I think 27 episodes, 27, 28 episodes. Uh, I've had a lot of great guests with a lot of great brands and a lot of great content there. So, uh, thank you so much again. Did not know if people would ever even listen to this or watch these videos, and and you guys do. So thank you for being a part of the Agave Social Club podcast and the Agave Social Club. Now, for this episode, I wanted to have a special brand as we celebrate one year. And if you are into tequila, you have heard of Wild Common. Wild Common is just hitting the scene. It's only available at siptequila.com, and it will eventually, I think, will be wider distribution in other areas Uh, but man this is amazing juice here's the bottle Uh, pretty pretty simple here nothing nothing too crazy with the bottle we've got recycled glass the cork everything they're being as sustainable as they can be with this and we've got a lot of great information on the back we've got you know who's making this this is coming out of nom 1123 which is cascoine we've got chava who is an amazing uh, master distiller here. So information here on it, how it's roasted, 72 hours, sm- small 12 ton brick oven, uh, the extraction, they're doing traditional Tahona and they're doing a roller mill, they're blending it. We've got uh, fermentation from the Tahona with the fibers, uh, just a lot happening with this to get as traditional and clean as we can get for this brand and this Tequila Blanco. This was created by photographer Photographer Andy Barden. Andy Barden is a uh, sports photographer, extreme sports photographer, and it all started, if you listen to the episode, it all went back to he hurt his back and he was looking for ways to heal his back. He, he went away from uh, alcohol for six months and as he started reintroducing it, he noticed that tequila was the best thing for if he's, if he's gonna drink alcohol, that it worked the best for his body. And so he went on this path for really finding uh, traditionally well-made tequilas. And on his journey, he continued to hear people say, you've got to talk with Chava and the Rosales family for you know traditional, authentic tequila. And so he spent some time with them. It was a serendipitous event where he got to help load their earthen pit as they were going to uh, make one of their Cascoine brands. And so, man, really just special time. And as he built that relationship as a photographer, he felt, I can share your story. And so they created this partnership for Wild Common. Wild Common, he's from Wyoming. He's an outdoors guy. We're seeing it here on the bottle here. We've got uh, the Red Tail Hawk. We didn't talk about this on the show. We talked about it a little bit afterwards when we were just hanging out. Uh, but red, red tail hawk here to tie in for Wyoming. And this eye here is to really speak on the transparency and the honesty of this brand. There's nothing going on here. This is as authentic as it gets. Their, their tagline is nothing added, nothing lost. I want to encourage you. Uh, go to siptequila.com. They have, you can you can specify, you can write them and you can say, hey, I want lot one or I want lot two. They've got two lots for their Blanco and they are different. And what's great is as you can, you can go back and forth and, and see when I started uh, familiarizing myself with Wild Common, I thought lot two was my favorite. And as time went on, I lean more towards lot one. So you see it in the glass, beautiful legs, the oils, man, this is yeast agave and water that is it delicious absolutely delicious we've got two lots here uh they they wanted to show the difference between these two lots we've got lot one and we've got lot two uh, if you go to siptequila.com you can specify write them and go hey I'm, I'm looking for lot one or i'm looking for lot two uh, i believe there are maybe 2,000, 2,500 bottles uh, of lot one. Um, To get a lot one of anything is really special. So I really want to invite you to uh, check out siptequila.com. If if it's your first time ordering there, uh, I think you put in your email and you'll get free shipping, Uh, but you can specify, I want lot one. And, And here's what I'll tell you, get two bottles. 
get two, one to keep, and then get one that you can enjoy with your friends. But both lot one and two, delicious. They have different flavor profiles, different nose. The aroma is different on both. Uh, let it let it sit in the glass a little bit. It will continue to open up. Andy and I talked a lot about that on the show, is just how these, how these flavors transform as some oxygen gets into it. Uh, so listen to the episode. Really, really great information. Andy is just a really awesome guy. He's really passionate about this. He is all in. We talked about, you know, what is it like to start your own tequila brand, the ups and the downs. And he said, I was all in. There was no, you know, turning back. There was no, this isn't going to happen. He knew that this was going to happen. And, and we're seeing it now. This is now available. It's brand new. Just came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, I was also able to try the Reposado. That Reposado, they took a ton of lot two. So there's less lot two. Uh, and they put that into barrels. They put it into, you know, these are old worn barrels for a hundred days. A hundred days, still very clean, very light. That agave is still shining through, but man, that barrel just gives some additional layers of that flavor. I got a, a natural sweetness towards the back end, maybe a little caramel there on it, but you just know this is as traditional as it gets. Uh, we've got to wait a little bit of time for the Reposado as that's not going to be out for, uh, I'm thinking sometime in September, uh, but Sip Tequila will have it and they will be the only ones that have the Reposado as well. So you, you want to make sure you pick up a couple bottles of that. Uh, check out the episode. A lot of great information there. Uh, you can go to andybarden.com and, and find out more about him and his photography. He, he also has a podcast, so you can go to wildcommon.com and it will have a link for his podcast if you are interested in, in hearing more about uh, his guests, all featuring uh, different different uh, athletes and, and just different risk takers as, as they're just going through the adventures of life. So again, thank you so much for listening to the show. Thank you for uh, encouraging me along the way as, as this is a lot of work, but I love doing it. I love this community. It's been an incredible opportunity to meet so many people in this industry. Check out wildcommon.com. Check out the episode wherever you listen to podcasts. And, and if you like these videos, uh, do me a favor, subscribe to it. If you like the actual podcast, take 30 seconds and, and rate it or review it. It helps me out. It helps other people come find it. So if you see value in it, uh, it just encourages me knowing that people enjoy the show. Thanks for listening.